Porta port. Oh. oh. Next time we gotta take that porta port around with us. It'll save us a ton of time and energy building. Well, hello and good morning. If that's not the best way to start the day, then I don't know what is. Kids are starting out doing their chores. They are rocking it today. Kirby just finished vacuuming all the floors. These kids, you guys. It's clear and then it, there's just a little bit and then down here is loads of it. It's, it just looks like it slowly goes down and then Pretty I don't cool. know how to describe it. And you guys, I just barely put up the blog post. And this is how we bingham of how we made our glitter jars. Super simple. Go ahead and head over to this is how we bingham. You guys can check that out. Always, there is a ton of recipes over there. Things that are our staples in our home, our favorites. Also, we've been keeping the kids entertained via technology. So Hazy's had a couple play dates with her friends over FaceTime. I don't know if you guys remember when crew was racing his husky bro, Porter. They are on a FaceTime call right now. So there. <laughs> What's up, dude? Hello, hello world. Hello world, he says. <laughs> Kids are getting in their friend time via FaceTime today. Because we can't see. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Whatever way it works for you guys to have your kids connect with friends, I think it's important. As of right now, that is technology because I am imagining unless they lift the no more than groups of 10 or whatever, kids aren't back in school so I don't feel like they can play with friends. They haven't played with friends for one month. I'm imagining until this summer they won't have that option. I have been incredibly surprised at how well the kids are doing playing with each other. They have done really well. It's been really awesome to see. Hazy is playing with one of the gifts that the boys got from Mana for Easter. Huh, Hazy? I don't know how to work it. Hazel, mm -hmm. show me your makeup. Oh my gosh, you're getting so so good at it. Mm -hmm. You're doing a really good job. I'm trying how to do this, but I don't know. I don't know. Here, I can help you. Let's have Rai Guy help you figure it out. Now that we know school is officially not going back this year, I think it's time, I think it's appropriate that we put away the backpacks. We have this little space in our hallway down here. It usually has the kids' backpacks and shoes. We just have backpacks here everywhere and they're not going back to school. I think it's time that we put these backpacks away. So I'm going to get the kids' backpack out, have them take them up to their bedroom. Rai Guy is right here. Clean out whatever's inside of them. Hazy, thanks for being my helper. Here's Brexy Doodles. I don't even know what's in all of these. Winter coats. I'm over what? winter coats. Um, I I think there's candy in there. You think there's candy in there? Candy. That'd be awesome if we found that. <laughs> this can go up in Kruby's room. You guys, cleaning this space up a little bit, putting backpacks away for the entire school year. How is that possible? I kind of got carried away cleaning that closet. No, I try to do like one small thing every day. Today, this was it. I just cleaned out a bunch of stuff. Took all the kids' backpacks out, went through their shoes, vacuumed it all out. And then what I do to make it easier for my kids to clean up, I make them their own pile. So they've got a little pile here of stuff they need to clean up. Right now, they're taking a break, watching a little YouTube. I always let them have a break after school because I think their minds need a little bit of a break. They're in recess right now. Stoked to see you out here on the devices gaming it up because we got something fun and new in store for you guys right now. You guys have no idea this is coming to you. What? Mom has decided to let you guys do something that you've been wanting to do for a very long time. What? Let's just say it's something you've been asking for for years, if not months, Our weeks. Channel? We're gonna play some Fortnite. Wait, really? Yes, so put the devices away. And let's get building the fort. Guys, <laughs> um. <laughs> no. See ya. I'm for real. <laughs> Let's build a fort and play in it tonight. Fortnite. Let's go. Bingham style. Are you guys in? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> if that didn't hook you, because I teased you with the Fortnite, it is going to be similar to Minecraft, though. I say we build our own fort. We Minecraft our is own it fort. Be made out of gold. Yeah, we could. And then you guys can make any fun little rooms. I know you guys are designing a cruise ship right now in Minecraft, making different levels. You can make a little gaming room inside the fort. We can have a school room. You guys could actually do school inside the fort tomorrow. Are we gonna you keep do? this here for tomorrow? I mean, if it's dope enough, it's, if it's yes. epic, if you guys can pull this off, do you guys want to do that? Yeah! We love you. Alright guys, the very first thing we need in building an epic fort tonight, Fortnite, okay, I'll give that up, in building an awesome fort, fort that we can play in, we're gonna need blankets, number one, we need something to hold it up, to prop it up, we can use couches, bar stools, camera tripods, whatever, okay. we're gonna need, you thought of something a minute ago, like a clamp, something to hold yeah. us up together, duct tape's not gonna work, these guys are watching fail videos behind us and just cracking up back there, <laughs> meanwhile, we're hard at work, we're trying to build a fort, yeah, gosh, they're just laughing it up, <laughs> Supplies, let's get gathering supplies. This is our main station right here, our main area. Build the fort. Let's go get our stuff. Let's go. Okay. Grab that. Let's okay. get all the blankets. We got a bunch like up in the toy room and everything. Let's go get the ones in the basement. Okay. Typically, 
typically when you're building a fort, you guys, you want sheets more than blankets because these blankets are gonna be heavy. I have a feeling holding them up is gonna make them sag. These are big, thick, heavy minkies. That's the whole point is that they're very heavy. Let's give it a try. You can get some kind of a clamp or something that holds it tight. It could be a really nice yeah. fort. Supplies. For the fort. Hey! <laughs> Bar stools are critical in the fort building process. Put them on the edge for now because we don't really know what the setup's gonna be like. Put them right here. You gotta take your backpacks up to your room because they're literally never gonna use them again this year. That's weird. So. Boo! Skull! <laughs> hey, use them wait, again. I'm assuming that goes with it, doesn't it, or not? Oh, yeah. Sweetie, are you gonna grab the clamps? Yeah, I'm grabbing them right now. See if we have any sheets. I think these blankets are gonna be too heavy, so if we have any like light sheets, grab those. Okay. <laughs> Such a goofball, love you. Hazel, you wanna come build a fort with us? Do what? We're building a giant fort. You wanna come build a fort? Come yeah. see. Should we leave this in or take this out? Take it out. Hazy girl, jump onto the blankets. No, not there. You had a whole pile of blankets okay. to jump into. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, mom, these might work. I don't know if they're gonna be pinchy enough, but they might work. And you got sheets, guys. Ah. We've got the supplies. I think we're ready to build the giant fort here. Now, mom, we were just debating. Do we take this out to allow more surface area in here or leave it in as a prop? Leave it in. Put something on top of it. You just lay a blanket across so it'll hold it up in the middle. The worry is like we only have like one blanket that's gonna be as big as that. So it's like how, where does that go? Okay, so here's my thought and it's been a while. It. It's been a while since I've done any kind of fort building here, guys. You do them like weekly. Have you not told everyone about that? <laughs> in fort video. I obviously oh. build forts every night and sleep in them. Yeah, I'm thinking you drape a blanket like across this, get to a second, however long it is, put a couple bar stools here, connect it, then you do another set over here as far as that blanket goes. Bar stools, we're gonna run out of stuff, but we do Sometimes have like tripods, this giant stand we've like on. Kid. Well, because I think building forts is so fun. I remember we used to do this, you guys, when we lived in our old house. Whoa, mom, that would be like a circus tent. Holy cow. If that were, I don't think we have, I don't think we have a blanket. The blanket will be that big, so yeah. I think we go just a little smaller. That yeah. could be like a sick epicenter. I love this. Epicenter. Speaking of epicenter, we had more earthquakes, you guys. Said. I don't know what's going on. We got more earthquakes. Yeah, we used to build these, you guys, at our old place. Had like a smaller area to work with, so we could really build out like an entire room pretty easily. This one, I think we're going to have to get creative. Start building. I think, don't you think the one on biggest this blanket first. needs to be the biggest, which is this, isn't it? Or no? This one is stretchy though. Let's try a sheet, huh? Oh, take two. Beep. <laughs> We're gonna start on this edge, and I think we just need to seal this off. Get it somehow on this. Anything we can do to lock this down. Oh, stick it behind the pillows. That's a good start. There you go, stick it behind the pillows. Yes, yes. Phase one. Wow, blankets are way smaller than I thought. Is it, did you go for a spin underneath? Try and go underneath, let's see it. So now I love what mom's doing here. We're gonna come across this. Could we do, let's, let's stick over here. Once we've got the starter blanket, let's just keep going from there. So let's do next one over to these chairs and a bar stool. Oh mom, I love it. You're building like a natural corridor right here, right through here. This is gonna be epic. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. So guys, couldn't tell. We scrapped the uh, middle circus tent pole idea to start. It's too hard to start from the middle. So we're gonna start from an edge and build our way in. We may not ever get that full circus tent pole because I don't think any of these are long enough to do that. Already, we have got just three blankets and it it is turning out to be awesome. We've got to work our way around this room. Mom, you're a pro at this. Who knew? Mom was a pro noob at Fortnite, you guys. Noob Central. <laughs> this is sick. I'll go. Some tomato, iced tomatoes, Ooh. mini ravioli. Oh, we got everything we need, bro. Put those cans on here. Okay, yam it up. Now this gets pulled on someone's head. That's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. This is not past safety inspection whatsoever. Okay, now that I think goes on this table for sure. If someone just to be on the table, I think we need to pull this way further this way. It's wasting. <laughs> Hard pull. keeps popping out from inside there. You wanna go explore some more, dude? <laughs> Holy cow, you guys, this is getting so big under there. Oh, Hazel, yeah. where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. I just found another use for Diet Dr. Pepper. There are many, many uses. We have three anchor points on one stool right now. We're about to remove all three to add a fourth anchor point on this bar stool. To do that, we're gonna need more weight when we get it back on, and we're gonna need some precision with three people to pull up these points, slap it on down, get the fourth anchor point on. Hi, hey. crew. <laughs> Oh, 
Holy cow, you guys. Guys, this came together pretty cool. So what do you think? I, can we build any further? I feel like these are good entry points right here. What do you guys think? Here it is. The fort is complete. We're about to go in and explore, build out some rooms. What do you guys I think? Really port -a -fort it. Awesome. Oh my gosh, this took forever. We could have easily port -a forted it. It would have been as easy as this. port -a fort <laughs> Oh, and now the fort is complete. Man, next time we gotta take that porta fort around with us. It'll save us a ton of time and energy building. I say we go in, we explore. Let's see what this fort's got. This is awesome. Oh, there's Brexy. Hi, Brex. Hi. And Hazel's in there too. <laughs> Guys, I wanna come in. I'm coming in, here I come. Lazzy, what do you think, bro? Wanna come in here and hang out in our fort? Hey guys, what are you doing over here in your room over there? Guys, yeah. you got like a sunroof over there. Go to your room, crew. <laughs> Brexton, gonna come in here. We're gonna go back to the sunroom. You wanna go back to the sunroom? Here's the sunroom back here. Oh, you guys, this is life right here. This is chilling. Hi guys. Thank Hazel, you. what do you think of this? Brexton, you wanna take my spot in here, buddy? Guys, look at this. Hey, Brexton. Could we do how you doing, man? Good. You gonna play games in here? What do you wanna do? Yeah. Gonna have snacks? I don't know that we're gonna be able to have school in here. It's pretty low clearance. <laughs> Can you tell crew to come in? Mm-hmm. Crew, we've actually want you in here. Come in. And don't too. <laughs> <laughs> The fort. It was a massive sunroom. Yeah, I do like this sunroom right here. This is actually kind of nice. So you've got everything under here. It's pretty much dark as far as you can see back. Oh, Hazel, come on in here, sweetie. You're currently under the fort right now. Where's my Hazel? There she is. Under the fort right now. Most of it is big, thick, heavy blankets. And so it actually feels like being indoors. But then this one section we did with a sheet, like a bed sheet. And it's so thin that the sun shines right through. So we come back here to get some sun. Then we go back into our little caves over there, our little yeah. indoor section. So That's this is where we come hot. out to get some sun, you know. Yeah, <laughs> In here. It actually is very warm. It's because there's all of us in here crawling around and it's no, got like a low, low ceiling, you know? Where should we go next? Oh, did you set up your snack room yet with uh, all of your toys? My snack room oh. is right there. Do you think you could share some snacks with me? Yeah, I got some grapes. You got grapes? Yeah. And do you have a makeup room? You could do a makeup room. Oh, I have makeup right in my toy room. In your toy room? Oh my gosh, let's go see your toy room, should we? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Hey, is that your toy room? Yeah. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna come over there. It's pretty far away. It's gonna take me a minute to get there. Okay. Made it to your toy room. Is this your toy and snack room? Yep. Tell me all about it. I add some fake makeup and then I add a glitter jar and some lotion for my hands get dirty. Oh. And there's little setups for Hansel. And I got some cheese and I got some makeup and I got some grapes and I got, uh, got a stuffed animal. I got Barbie pony and I got slippers and slippers. Oh my goodness, Hazy, you have so much in here. You could stay in here all night. Should we do an all nighter in your fort? And you have a glitter jar. <laughs> Oreos in the fort. Mm -hmm. I think we told you not to do that. Okay, I'm just eating one. Oh, just one? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Being pretty clean about it. Yeah. No crumbs anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Love you. Do you have this fort? Mm -hmm. Want to keep it? Let's keep it, should we? Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you. I'm gonna get you a wipey. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> been such a fun idea. Just trying to get creative. The kids are having a blast. Look at them. Just making memories under there. Yeah. Izzy, what are you doing? Just putting on some lotion? Yeah, because my hands are dirty. <laughs> well, if well, they're dirty, you need to wash them, silly. No, if my hands are dirty, I need lotion. And guess what? What? I fall asleep. You I fell asleep? asleep? Yeah. You are silly. What a fort. I mean, our entire what front a room fort. turned into a fort. Let's play in it tonight. Little fort night for it's kids. epic. <laughs> we gotta move on to the dinner portion of the evening. Oh, yes. I feel like that's all my mind does is think of what's the next meal gonna be. Spending a lot of time in the kitchen. 
the kids are requesting buttered pasta. You know that that is their favorite, and I have to remember that that is like every kid's favorite. I loved it when I was a kid. Maddie would only get that when she was a kid. It's always oh, yeah. just noodles with butter, Parmesan, nothing else, super plain, but it's good. Like, I'm down for that. I for know, dinner. it is super good, and this is actually my third dinner idea because the first one was gonna be a cookout, but it was supposed to be snowing today, so I canceled that idea. And then I was gonna make tomato soup. We don't have any milk. Canceled that idea. Option number three. Option number three. We got pasta, we got butter, we got Parmesan, pasta butter, Parmesan noodles. I'm gonna get making a really difficult dinner. I'm gonna go boil a pot of water. Kids have been building some fun crafts here today. These cool, like, crossbow little gadgets we got out here on the table, but we've also got our delicious red lobster cheddar biscuits. Yes, yes. So good. No cheddar delish and buttered noodles with Parmesan. Who do you think? Is it a hit? Yes. Here we do. Good. It feels like the lamest dinner ever, but it's what they love. Fix, you like it? Yeah. We are going to wrap up our night right here, fort side. That wasn't the funnest fort night. fiasto, fiasco ever. Fiasco, fiesta? I don't know, guys. Fiasco. I'm on the struggle bus. That's why we're going to bed. <laughs> guys, we're getting the kids into bed. We're going to watch a movie here at the fort. Smash the like button. Thanks for being a part of our day today. As always, as we fun. continue to find ways to entertain you guys and ourselves here at home. We love you guys. Come back tomorrow. Lots of fun in store. It's the weekend, baby. We'll see you guys then. Good night, everybody. Bye. Epic, Epic fail. Prank. Yeah. Prail. 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 Prank and prail. It's a prail. <laughs> Guys, that's a new word. <laughs> Send in your prails. We you want guys, to see your prank fails. I'm tired. I don't even know how or why, but I am tired. On <laughs> um, This Is How We Bingham have blah, 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 blah. Epic something. You're in there together. Yeah. And don't chew. <laughs> <laughs>